Hey, what's going on? This is Ross. My name is Ross Merrick. <laughs> anyway, um, so this is the fourth chapter of Don't Sweat the Small Stuff. I realize, and it's all small stuff. This is by uh, Richard Carlson, Ph.D. Richard Carlson, Ph.D. I did not write this. Um, just letting you know. Um, I couldn't write this. I'm not that smart. But anyway, this is chapter four, and... Um, I know it's been a while. It's been like three months or two months or however many months, but I thought I'd get, you know, hopefully I can get back to it um, since it's taken me forever. But anyway, I miss you guys. I love you dearly, and I'm going to just go right into it now because this is, it's not a long chapter. It's just a tad longer than the other ones. Okay, here we go. So it's chapter four of Don't Sweat the Small Stuff and It's All Small Stuff. It says, be, the title is Be Aware of the Snowball Effect of Your Thinking. A powerful technique for becoming more peaceful is to be aware of how quickly your negative and insecure thinking can spiral out of control. Have you ever noticed how uptight you feel when you're caught up in your own thinking? And to top it off, the more absorbed you get in the details of whatever is upsetting you, the worse you feel. One thought leads to another and yet another until at some point you become incredibly agitated. Hmm. Don't be agitated. For example, you might wake up in the middle of the night and remember a phone call that needs to be made the following day. Then, rather than feeling relieved that you remembered such an important call, you start thinking about everything else you have to do tomorrow. You start rehearsing a probable conversation with your boss, getting yourself even more upset. Pretty soon you think to yourself, I can't believe how busy I am! <laughs> anyway. I must make 50 phone calls a day! Whose life is this anyway? Whose life is this anyway? And on and on and on it goes until you're feeling sorry for yourself. For many people, there's no limit to how long this type of thought attack, that's in quotation marks, thought attack can, goes on until it goes on. In fact, I've been told by, by my clients that many of, not my clients, the PhD, Richard Carlson's clients, um, obviously. In fact, I've been told by, by my clients that many of their days and nights are spent in this type of mental rehearsal. Needless to say, it's impossible to feel peaceful with your head full of concerns and annoyances. The solution is to notice what's happened in your head before your thoughts have a chance to build up any momentum. The sooner you catch yourself in the act of building your, your mental snowball, the easier it is to stop. In our example here, you might notice your snowball thinking right when you start running through the list of what you have to do the next day. Then, instead of obsessing on your upcoming day, you say to yourself, Woo! There I go again. <laughs> That's exactly what I do. Um, woo! There I go again. And consciously nip it in the bud. You stop your train of thought before it has a chance to get going. You can then focus not on how overwhelmed you are, but on how grateful you are for remembering the phone call that needed to be made. If it's the middle of the night, write it down on a piece of paper and go back to sleep. You might even consider keeping a pen and paper by your bed for such moments. I'll do that, buddy. Um, all right, last paragraph. You may indeed be a very busy person, but remember that filling your head with thoughts of how overwhelmed you are only exacerbate, exacerbates the problem by making you feel even more stressed than you already do. Try these simple little exercises the next time you begin to obsess on your schedule. You'll be amazed at how effective it can be. So that's what you got to do. Don't let it snowball into a snowball a little hill of effect, and it just gets crazy. Keep a pen and paper, paper by your bed, and everything will be great. Just don't wake up in the middle of the night. That's basically what he's saying. Um, or don't think. So a little shout out. I want to do a shout out to Charles Wang. He's my buddy. He's my friend. He's the best. Um, anyway, um, no, he's my, he's my friend, and uh, yeah, that's about it. Not too much. Not too much else. He's he's a smart guy. He uh, he's a electrical engineer. So if anyone needs any buildings or wires or any like trying to figure out putting things together with wires and electrical devices, he's your man. All right. I love you so much. I miss you. Um, I can't wait to see you again. Until next time. I'll be thinking of you thinking of you daily, but I won't let it keep me up at night. So 
so as to not, you know, snowball into a crazy effect of crazy consciousness and turmoil, inner, switch the words, inner turmoil. All right, love you, bye.